Welcome to Comfort Happy Number Two. My name is Echo Fang Grey Wolf. Um, made some mistakes, so I need to apologize. There are a whole lot more Native American heroes in Marvel and DC than I thought, and an image. So I'm gonna go down the list. I'm gonna count them out, and um, there's some independents. I'm not gonna bother with them because these are some comics I've never heard of. And um, Dark Horse has only one Native American comic that I could find. And it's uh, some shit I can't pronounce, but it's Navajo, Vampire Slayer, Tales of the Slayer, Buffy Universe, I guess, from Buffy the Vampire. I don't know. So we got that out of the way. All right. God damn it. Google is your friend. So, God damn it. Unless your name is Echo Fang Grey Wolf. So we're going to go through these. And um, in the DC list, they left Scalp Hunter out. But I'm going to go through there, and we're going to count them out, all right? So first we have Apache Chief. Technically that was um, Hannibal Barrera's first, and then I guess DC bought the rights for it. But you have Apache Chief, Auric, Aztec, Black Condor, then you have Butcher, you have Captain Fear, you have Captain Thunder, you have Chief Crazy Horse, you have um, a name I can't pronounce, so I'm going to spell it out for you, C-H-I-N-D-I, -I. then you have Kronos, you have Koran, and you have Dawnstar, you have Eagle Free, you have Equinox, you have Flying Fox, Green Arrow, Earth D, that's like Green Arrow, what the fuck. Alright, then you have Hawk, and you have, um, Koryak, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right, so I'll spell that for you. K-O-Y, K-O-R-Y-A-K. Man of Bats, uh, Man I to be a Dawn, let me spell that for y'all, because it's also a raven, so I'm just going to spell the name, M-A-N-I-T-O-U, for Dawn and for Raven, then you have Mirage, um, you have Night Eagle, you have Owl Woman, you have Pow Pow Smith, you have Rain in the Face, you have a Raven, you have a Raven Red, you have Red Bird, you have Russ Tin Clouds. Here's another name I can't pronounce. S E N E C A. I want to say Sinka, but you know. Then you have Sky Alice. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right. So we're just going to spell that out for you A L C H E S A Y. All right. That's a person that's on Aquaman's team, according to what I'm reading here. You have Strongbow. You have Super Chief. You have Tall Tree. You have Thomas Kala Maku. I'm pretty sure I butchered that, so we're gonna spell it out for you. K A L M A K U. You have Timber. You have Wildstar. You have Wise Owl. You have Will Power. You have. I want to say it's Wind, but I don't know, so I'm gonna spell it out for you because I totally just butchered it. W Y Y N D E. You have Yawara. I'm pretty sure I spelled that or said that wrong, so we're going to spell it out for you too. Y A W A R A. By the way, I'll stop counting. Um, then you have Ghost Dancer. This says Vertigo, which says Ghost Dancer, the Sandman. Um, you have White Buffalo Woman. Also says the Sandman in those little quotations. Then you have Blackbird, Comanche, Crossbones, Joe the Indian, Pilgrim. Rainmaker and Redbird. Now we'll go back and count them all. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 for DC Comics. All right? Now we got that all out the way. That was a lot. And I'm going to tell you what. I ain't, I ain't heard of half of these motherfuckers. Like I said, Artek. Well, Artek's an Artek and Apache Chief. But... Funny thing, Scalp Puncher's not on this list for DC Comics. 
which is what made me ask the question in the last video. I do not know why Scalp Hunter is not on this list other than the fact that biologically, by blood, he is not a native. No. Now, Image Comics. God damn it. Image Comics. Let's count them off first before I name them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven of them. So you have Barak or Barbaric or Barbaric. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so we're going to spell it out for you. B-A-R-B-A-R-I-C. I guess it's Barbaric. Then you have Broad Arrow. And then you have Ian Nottingham. And then you have Kodiak. Then you have Night Eagle. Then you have Ripclaw. And you have Stalking Wolf. All right. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so you got seven of them from Image. And now we go to Marvel. So, we're going to do this. We're going to name them off first, and then we'll come back and count them. Okay, so you have American Avenger, American Evil. Black American Avenger, American Eagle, not evil. You have Black Crow, Centurion, Centurion, rather. Cusack, Crusader X, Danielle Moonstar, Doot, D O O T, just in case I misspelled that. You have Echo. You have Elisa Maza from Gargoyles. I forgot that since Disney owned that, they could throw her in there. You have Fire Eyes. You have Forge. I don't why it says High Note the Young Gods, part native. I guess High Note must be his name. Moonstalker, Naze, Portal, Private J. Little Bear. Puma, Red Warrior, Red Wolf, Wild Run, Red Wolf, Johnny Wakely, Red Wolf, Thomas Thunderhead, Red Wolf, William Tall Trees. A lot of Red Wolves, y'all. Red Zeppelin, Red Stone, Ringo Kid. I cannot pronounce this, so I'm going to spell it out. R I S Q U E. Then you have Running Fish, Scalp Hunter, John Greycrow. You have Shaman, you have Silver Fox, you have Sitting Bullseye, you have Snowbird, you have Spirit Iron Knife, that's from G.I. Joe, his real name is Charlie Iron Knife, you have Talisman, you have Talon, you have Thunderbird, you have T-Bird, you have Tomorrowhawk, you have Venus, you have Warpath. You have Werehawk, you have Witch Woman, you have Wyatt Wingfoot, and Zachary Moonhunter. I don't know who the hell Zachary Moonhunter is. As some people I don't know, but now we're going to count them off, and we're going to go down the list here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, oh shit, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So DC clearly has more native characters than Marvel. Unless I miscount it. So, when I got to the 20s, like when I hit 24, I was on the Red Wolves. Alright. So, I'm going to explain. The the native characters that I do know are probably more popular, which is probably why I know them. And maybe why I've forgotten them. I know American Eagle, Jay Strongbow. And I know Black Crow. Um, something Black Crow is his last name. I don't know who the hell Crusader X is, but apparently it's Captain Britain as a Native American speci specified origin from Earth 2122, which I'm, you know, not that big of knowing. Danielle Moonstar, we know she's Cheyenne, we know she's an X-Men. I never heard of Doot. Echo is new, um, aka Crazy Horse Ronan. I don't know who that is. The Echo I know is, is, is a girl. Half Cheyenne, half Latin. That might be the Echo I know. Let's find out. That went straight to the tribe. That didn't go to her. 
Okay, it's her. Yeah, so. That's the echo I know. Elisa Maza from Gargoyles. Y'all know her. Her brother is Talon. So, yeah, everything is in alphabetical order. I don't know who the hell Fire Eyes are. And his page has not been completed yet. Alright, Forge we know. High Note the Young Gods. It's in red. His page or her page has not been completed yet. But it says part Colombian, part native. Moonstalker. I have no idea who Moonstalker is. And I don't think their page has been completed, but it says something about the Young Gods. I know who Naze is. That is not Naze. That is an island. Naze is Forge's um, mentor. I do not know who Portal is. But apparently, this is Portal. Okay, I know you guys, why didn't you do that with DC? Okay, one, again, I'm not as big of a fan of DC. Um, Jay Little Bear is not done yet. Puma is Spider-Man's enemy. Y'all know who he is. And if you don't know... You should look into him. I do not know who Red Warrior is. And of course, there's no picture. But um, apparently his name is Ronald Shannon Jackson. And he's a jazz drummer. I have no idea what he even looks like. And there's no images. I know who Red Wolf is. Or at least... One of the Red Wolves, but this has like five of them. Red Wolf Wild Run. Of course, there's no image. And then there's Red Wolf John Wakely. Of course, there's no image. Okay, we're going to stop clicking on him. So, um, William Tallman, Tall Trees. I don't know who that is. And I have mistaken him once or twice, apparently, for Shaman, whose name is um, Two Young Men. I have never heard of Red Zeppelin. And his page is not finished. I have never heard of Red Stone. But apparently, he's one of those two guys. I have never heard of Ringo Kid, but he's half native. I can tell you he came out in 1950, which is why I've never heard of him. He's a lesser known character than um, Colt Kid, Rawhide Kid, and Two Gun Kid. I don't know any of those guys. So you can see the issue with, like, apparently Marvel has never pushed too many native characters other than the ones I know. Otherwise, I would know more of these people. I know Shotman because that's him. Fighting for his daughter against Vindicator or um, Guardian. For the record, for the writers who wrote Alpha Flight, can you stop switching the husband and wife's names? Because at one time, Heather was Vindicator, and then she was Guardian. And her husband, he became Vindicator, and then he was Guardian. And they kept switching back and forth. But their suits are still the same. And their suits are still cool. You know, where the hell was I? Um... Is on Shaman. I know Silver Fox. Y'all know Silver Fox. She used to date Wolverine. When they were in the Weapon X project. I don't know Sitting Bullseye. Never heard of him. I know Snowbird. Again, I um I know Talisman. I know Charlie Iron Knife, because that would be spirit. I do not know Riskue, R I S Q U E, but that's her. According to this, she is a member of X Force. I must have stopped reading that, or I missed that comic, one of the two. Um, let's see, what the fuck, who did I just go to? I know who Thunderbird is, and Talon is Derek Maza. And of course, Talon doesn't have a, um, a picture. Let's try it again. Nope, Talon does not have a picture. 
Anyway, Talon was turned into a panther. And he's only half native to boot. Let's see. We all know who Warpath is. I do not know who T-Bird is. Okay, Thunderbird is who T-Bird is. I do not know... Who where the hell was I at? This damn thing keeps jumping back upwards instead of... I don't know who Tomorrow Hawk is. And I won't because his page isn't fixed. But it says A.K.A. Kyote, which is spelled C-E-Y-O-T-E. -E. New breed of Eternals or in Eternals. I don't know who the hell Venus is. And she doesn't have a picture. Second planet from the sun, Roman God. Okay, I don't know why to have they have her in here if she's not like a native. But she was in Gargoyles. She's cloned from the DNA of Goliath and Elisa. Okay, I should have read that before I even looked for a picture. So she's the gargoyle version of Elisa Maza. We all know who Warpath is. I don't know where Red Hawk, where Werehawk is. And I won't because his picture, his page isn't done. Uh, which woman? I have no idea who she is. And I won't because there's no picture. Um, but she apparently is an ally with Ghost Rider. I know who Wyatt Wingfoot is. And he doesn't have a picture, but you guys can find him. He dated She-Hawk. Um, where the hell was it? It would help if this thing didn't screw back up. I have no idea who Zachary Moonhunter is. And of course, Zachary Moonhunter will not have a picture. It redirected me. So there's no image of Zachary Moonhunter. But he's the last one on the list. Now, the reason why I did that and like I said, I'm more Marvel than DC, but DC has given me um, a moment of pause, if you would. Because of the simple fact that there are a fuck ton more of DC comics there are about natives than Marvel. But see, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest. With Marvel, DC, and Image, and Dark Horse, they don't push the native characters, which is why I don't know who the fuck they are. If they push the native characters just a little bit more, and I would know them. Because off the bat, I can pull four native X-Men. Five now, because of Echo. But I, I could pull four or five native American mutants out of my hat. No, that are native. You know, Warpath, Thunderbird, Dark Rider, Forge, and now Echo. I believe she's an X-Men. I can't swear to it, but I'm pretty sure she's an X-Men. Let's find out why I got you on here. Is Marvel Comics Echo an X-Man? Here is information from Wikipedia. Yeah, Echo is not a villain. Maria Lopez, superhero and mechanic, a Native American, blah, 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 character of Daredevil. Let's click the Wikipedia. Maybe she's not an X-Man, I could be wrong. But superheroine appeared in the comics published by Marvel, adoptive daughter of the Kingpin, the character which duplicates a supporting character of Daredevil's Native American Cheyenne Nation, and she is deaf. As Echo, Daredevil, Ronan, Arena Lopez. Okay, I'm Sadly mistaken, she might be a new Avenger versus being an X-Man. I swear they said she was going to be an X-Man, though. But, okay. So, I'm wrong. Now, I don't know why it has her as a villain. She's an adoptive daughter of the Kingpin. I guess that's why they made her a villain. But, you know, there's yeah, so many mutants that you can pull out as Marvel has not really pushed too many natives to the forefront. You know, it's the same thing that they didn't push to the front, but I'm going to um, show you when they left off. The X-Men or New Mutant named Magma. Here is information from Wikipedia. Let's get Magma here. Magma is Amar Amara Jillian Oliverius Aguela, known as Allison Capture. She had a lot of damn names. I don't remember having that many names. But, 
Amara was originally depicted as a young mutant inspiring to become a hero with the ability to generate lava after the name Magma. She made her debut. We don't need the publication history. Powers and abilities. And she can translate volcanic magma from the earth. Why does it not have... There it is. All right, it falls from the hills of Nova Roma, New Rama, and Julius Caesar. She's a modern-day Brazilian and the daughter of Luis Antonius Aguilera. Now, at one point, she was native Brazilian, like the the natives down there, not like like the people who immigrated, not the um, Spaniards and stuff. So I guess they retconned her for this. Because initially she was like Roberto. Because Roberto's a little bit of an um, enigma herself. Because it's hard to remember what the fuck his ethnicity actually is. But Roberto's not actually black. So, you know, they didn't have that many. But like I said, you know, when you first pick up New Mutants, you know who Danielle Moonstar is. Because she's the co-leader of the New Mutants. Alright? You pick up X-Men, you knew who Thunderbird was. You know now who Warpath is. You've always known who Forge was. Because Forge and Warpath were kind of um, the only two natives on the X-Men team. And I think Warpath joined first. And he died on his first mission. And then Forge came along. I don't really know how that really works out. But you know, they didn't push a lot of native characters. As far as DC... They clearly didn't push a lot of native characters either. If they have 51 of them, and I don't know, but like three. I know Apache Chief. I know Scalp Hunter now. And, um, who the hell was the other one? Doesn't matter, because I can't remember. But you, you see what I'm saying? They're not pushing native characters to the forefront. Which is why nobody really knows who they are. Same thing with Marvel. Nobody really knows who they are. I'm not going to count, uh, Aliza. Beth and Derek because they weren't part of Marvel until Disney bought them but Charlie Iron Knife Spirit from G.I. Joe was a native the first native you see on cartoons is Charlie Iron Knife from G.I. Joe um, other than that you know they're not really pushing native superheroes to the forefront which is why I didn't know DC Comics had so many of them I didn't know that Marvel Comics had so many of them. Because Marvel Comics, you have like certain ones. You got Puma, you got Red Wolf 1, Red Wolf 2. You got Black Crow, you got American Eagle, you got Wyatt Wingfoot. Why are they so prominent? Because, like Scalp Hunter, Puma's a bad guy. So you take him out. Red Wolf 1 and Red Wolf 2 are questionable in their heroics or their dastardly deeds, depending on how you look at it. And you have... Black Crow, who's a hero, and you have American Eagle, who's a hero, and you have Wyatt Wingfoot, who dates a hero, or dated a hero, because I don't know what they've done with him, because, again, I stopped reading comics in 2010. I literally started to slow down in 2008, so if I had to backtrack any comics after 2010, I don't want them. Anything 2010 and backwards, I'll get those, but I won't go out my way to get anything new. It's just not, it hasn't been worth it for me, and... There, there's only one new comic that I'm really trying to buy, which is the Native Voices comics. But I am going to say, I'm a little mad that they left Miguel O'Hara off that list. Because Mexicans are indigenous natives of America as well. You know, and that's one of the things that I say, like, if Sony gives me the job, and the suit's not there, but the mask is, if Sony gives me the job, I say, hey, we're going to rewrite the height. And we're going to make you Miguel O'Hara. Are you ready to go? He answers, yes. I am ready to go. Now, being that Miguel O'Hara is part Irish and part Mexican, we're going to have to worry about the part Irish part. Because I clearly do not look Irish. No. But that being said, I'm probably Mexican passing. I don't speak Spanish. But Miguel O'Hara is one of those characters that I would love to do. If Marvel would give me the job, or if Marvel and Sony would combine and give me the job, and just make the money. And I work cheap. So, I'm going to close this out, but I'm going to make a part two about why natives aren't being pushed to the forefront in the heroes. Okay, that being said, because 
I, yeah, I kid you guys for like 20 some odd minutes and there's a lot of background noise. So we're going to make a second part and then we're going to call it.